climbing some tall Douglas firs created a need for converting a base anchor into a canopy anchor that we would have 500 feet of climbing line extended between the base anchor and the climber as it came up and over the top of the tying point. So to convert that to a canopy anchor, I just pull some slack once the first climber reaches the tie-in point. The first climber pulls in some slack, ties a bunny ears or figure eight on a bite. Takes those bunny ears, puts them around both ascent lines now, and we'll connect that with a screw link. Tightened with a wrench. And once secured, it becomes two independent, two independent climbing lines. And uh, secured at the canopy anchor. One is still has some slack in it, but it's secured at the base anchor. The other is a free running rope, but they are both become independent climbing lines with much less with much less um, stretch and uh, completely uh, independent on both sides of the uh, on both sides of the bunny ears. When connecting two climbing lines together for a very long ascent, this would be my preference. It would be a triple fisherman's, just tied off with a barrel knot, and then a figure eight so that you can connect. If you're, if you're passing this knot, you can connect a carabiner to your saddle and do your transfers safely. And once you're past the knot, unclip from this with a stopper knot at the bottom of this, just in case you got disoriented and wanted to repel off the end of this. But this would be my, re my preference. And I know the um, triple or double fisherman's knot is a little more difficult to untie than the Zeppelin, but when it's unattended, it seems like it's a little more secure. And I have found it a lot easier to uh, break open if you do the twisting motion once you do the twisting motion on the knot, it seems to uh, open up pretty well. This has not been heavily loaded, so, but at any rate, when you twist it apart, it seems to break open pretty well. And then you can start working the knot open just like you would something else.